This is for all women, not necessarily women with disease or who are postmenopausal. This is, you know, a basic message to all women is, first of all, confront the myths that you carry around with you. And what you see in the media um, isn't, necessarily, um, isn't necessarily true. Some interesting data that we heard at this meeting, uh, you know, you see on American television all these flashy, glamorous signs of multi-orgasmic women who are climaxing the same times as their partners, but we find that American women are actually the least sexually satisfied among all the different countries of the world that were studied um, and report the most sexual difficulties. So don't believe the illusion of sexuality that you see on TV, first of all, and you'll save yourself a, a lot of, of unnecessary sexual grief. Uh, the second thing I think that's important to keep in mind is to normalize your experience. Um, if you go through periods of time where you're not feeling particularly interested in sex, uh, don't assume it's a dysfunction. Take a look at your life and say, well, is this happening in the context of being stressed or with other deadlines or do I have kids at home? So you, we, we need to give ourselves permission for the times when sex isn't great. There will be times when it's fantastic and there will be times when it's not good and there will be a lot of times when it's mediocre. And, and we need to be okay with that. I think that the, the frequency of us labeling sexual disorders will go down if we start to do that.